Cancer, hi. So this is going to be a reading for March 11th through the 17th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Cancer. <clears throat> what is going on here? All right, the overall energy for the reading, the magician. You're manifesting something. Well, you're in manifester mode, that means. So, okay, we'll see what that is. In the recent past the four of pentacles the high priestess the world card uh you're hanging on to your intuition quite tightly here and you're actually ending a cycle because you're being guided by your intuition to do so which okay in the current situation the hangman the eight of pentacles the four of cups there seems to be a little bit of a pause over something that you're investing in whether physically or emotionally or you're working on something here by the looks of it. And you, you you look a little bit upset about whatever's going on in there, which kind of keeps you standing still. Like there's no progress in it really, as long as you keep on this energy of being disappointed or upset with something in there. In the uh, immediate future, the Five of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, you look a little more upset. And it looks like it's kind of... It's bringing in an energy of heaviness. It's bringing in an energy of issues over uh, commitment even here, you know? So, okay, let's clarify. Let's see what's up. Let me do the magician. Let's see what that's about. The three of swords, the hierophant, the page of cups. So you're giving me a commitment again. Very important one. Very pretty pretty in place there but there's some pain in there something happened something happened within this commitment and you're trying to manifest something but you're manifesting through the filter of pain that's at play for this commitment which is not great because that's just going to contribute to the pain um okay let me see the Four of Pentacles in the recent past. The Queen of Pentacles, the Magician, the Two of Pentacles. What is this? What is this energy for you? You seem to be knowing where you're manifesting from. And those energies that you know you're manifesting from seem to be very stable. So you could be in a very, could be feeling that you're in a very stable place while you manifest something. And what you're not seeing is that there's something in the way there. There's something in the way of your own manifestation. There's, uh, there's some quite subtle and hidden energies in the way that you're not seeing. Because at the end of the manifestation here, I see you starting off from a good place in your manifestation. And I see you ending into a place of, I don't know. Like, I, 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 I have no clue. Like, almost like... When we manifest, we know what we're asking for, right? Usually. And you're starting off with, I know what I'm asking for. And then by the end of your manifestation, you're in a place of, I don't even know what the fuck I'm asking for. Let me do the High Priestess. The Ten of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles. You are closely tied up to your intuition here, but it's looking like you have to do something very difficult. Where your intuition is guiding you through something and you're going with it, but man, it's hard. Um, definitely has to do with closing off a cycle here over something. So it's not the easiest approach to things here. For the world card, you get the lovers, the eight of pentacles, the four of swords. Again, this commitment. So all of this has to do with this commitment, which all you want for this commitment is healing and for things to work out. So whatever kinds of cycles are closing here, 
you're probably pointing towards unhealthy ones tied up to this commitment. That's why it's difficult, because no, it's not easy to work through those kinds of cycles that are unhealthy. Okay, so in your work towards this commitment, there is progress, slow progress, with quite the challenges along the way. It's not easy from what I'm seeing. For the hangman, in the current situation, you get the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. This is a much more smoother energy than before. So there has been progress that's been made here. Where the energy of stability shows up, the energy of equal give and take shows up, the energy of trying to look for anything that would make these energies show up in this commitment and sustain these energies through this commitment. And you're doing good with finding those resources. Let me do the Eight of Pentacles. So there has been progress here over whatever went wrong in this commitment here. For the Eight of Pentacles, you get the Hermit, the Hangman, the Seven of Wands. Now it's just a matter of sustaining all of this energy that has been grounded, is shown up more clear, is shown up like, okay, we've made progress here. It's a matter of work in progress now that has to kind of take place. Because there's still work to be done here by the looks of it. But it's like, can you keep yourself constant in this energy and open to this energy of, yeah, we're still working on it. Or are you stepping out of it because it's like, it's too much, I need a break or whatever the case. Because I see the tendency to step out of it and that doesn't sustain this energy. Even if there is progress, there's nothing there to sustain it, to make it go further, you know? Um, if you're pulling back from this. Let me do the Four of Cups. And a lot of the times we get, for example, to this place where we feel like, oh, we've achieved this and that and the other, and we think our work is done. And that's when we're like, I don't gotta do anything anymore. Who's gonna sustain those energies? <laughs> you know, who's gonna keep on working on them? It's like working on yourself. You don't, you don't just wake up one day and you're like, I wanna heal. And then you're like, okay, you know, a, a month in, a year in, two years in, you're like, mm, I've done all this work. I feel so much better and I feel great. And I feel, okay, my work is done. I'm healed. No, you know, um, no. Same goes for this connection here and any kind of connection you have with anybody. You know, it needs that juice for maintaining itself, you know, that maintenance juice. Uh, for the Four of Cups, you get the Eight of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, and when you kind of pull back, as you know, this connection has healed, you don't have to do anything about it anymore. You actually disconnect from your own openness to making this connection work. And then guess what happens? You're upset, you're disappointed, you're like irritated, you're mm, pissed off about who knows what, and then it results into conflict within the situation. And then you feel like you have to start all over again. Where no, you don't have to start all over again. You just need to pick up where you left off here with this progress of this work done on this connection. So um, let's do the five of cups in the immediate future. The Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Tower. Yeah, and you're going to get to those points where you're going to feel like, you know, sometimes it's too hard to the point of, I can't do this. I'm better off on my own. Like, at least with me, I know what's up, you know? I know what's going on in there. But when it's too involved, it's too hard. It's too difficult. I quit. Too hard. So I see you dropping that victory flag over there and just kind of tossing it to the side and be like, no, not doing this. I'm not sure if you're getting to that point of really quitting and being like, no. Uh, but if not, you're very close to it because it is difficult. It is hard. I get it. It's, it's very hard, you know, where, yeah, it's easier when it's just you. But 
then what's the point? <laughs> you know, what's the point of it all? Just you, your whole life, no other experience to share your energy with? I don't know. Doesn't doesn't feel right, you know? Um, For the Four of Wands, you get the Ace of Wands, the Temperance card, the Knight of Wands. You just need a break. When this comes close, when you feel it, it's around the corner of I quit. You just need a break. You just need to take a break a little bit. You know, you can't take breaks. You can't take breaks. The energy is going to wait for you. You know, conscious breaks of I need, I need a recharge here. I need a little bit of time away from this for a few days, a few whatever I need. And then I'll come back with, you know, fresh energies. We'll, we'll pick it back up. And it looks like that's what you're doing here. It looks like you're giving yourself the time, the space to be able to come back, you know, recharge and then keep on working on it. Let me do the seven of pentacles. Of course, this in order for this to apply, you know, this whole working on it. It needs to come from the other side, too, in the sense of they're doing the same thing. You know, they're going through the same energies here uh, where the both of you are working on it. And, yeah, it does get exhausting either way. But, you know, if, if it's only you working on this, then what the hell are you doing? You know what I mean? For the Seven of Pentacles in the immediate future, you get the Three of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, it's just a matter of understanding, hey, we need to also maintain this you know the situation needs maintenance juice from time to time you know because as i said a lot of the times you may feel inclined to be like okay we've worked on things we've healed we've done this side and the other it looks better done no nope. and this is where you're getting to that understanding of its continuous effort it's continuous energy given to this you know to this healing situation until it's going to feel natural until it's going to feel like you're not giving anything it just rolls in a natural flowing way but you know you're learning this here so it's you're handling it pretty well for the most part you have that tendency to drop it think think that it's going to run on its own this healing for the situation and then you have the tendency to quit when it gets really really hard and all of those are pretty normal it's not you're not doing anything out of the ordinary here you know anything crazy like you're crazy what are you doing quitting and you know normal reactions to something hard something difficult but then you also realize hey i just need to kind of figure out a way to work around all this and you are in a great manner so let me see what the universe has as a final advice The Seven of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. Yeah. The universe is reminding you. Always remember the maintenance juice for the healing of whatever it is you're working on all the time. And always give yourself the time and space when you need it. Don't just go full force. Okay, we're doing this nonstop, 24-7. We're at this, 24-7. No, it requires a lot of energy, though. You can't do that. You need, a, you need some breaks from time to time. You, them, you know. Both of you together, if that's, I don't know. But uh, yeah, always remember that. Maintenance juice and break. Maintenance juice and break. You know, the secret to making this work. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.